We have to start somewhere. A small but dynamic and rising minority can raise issues and force others to debate them. But there is even a more important reason to support the PPC. What we offer is an ideological revolution. I said at the beginning of this speech that we are losing our basic rights and freedoms at a rapid pace. Our governments keep growing, our traditional Western civilization values are fast eroding. If this trend does not reverse, we can say goodbye to our prosperity and our way of life. Whether or not you have conservative or liberal government in Ottawa, it won't make any difference. We are the only party openly fighting to reclaim our rights and freedoms, our sovereignty against globalist organizations like the UN. The only party openly fighting to restore our institution and our federation as they were conceived. The only party fighting for true conservative values of freedom, responsibility, respect, and fairness. Everybody else is moving left or far left, including the conservative party. All the other parties want to drive us into a wall at different speeds. I just want to stop the car and change direction. So, what are your options to vote for at the federal level if you want change from the disastrous Trudeau government? First of all, you can vote for a the guy, you know, the guy that was elected the leader of the Conservative Party and he's not a conservative anymore. Yeah, O'Toole. You can vote for O'Toole if you want, but as much as you may want to rid of Trudeau, voting for the CPC will change absolutely nothing. The Conservatives don't want to solve Canada's problems. They don't even acknowledge that they exist. They have nothing to say about our imperial federal regime or about our defective democracy. They have nothing to say about the, the centralization of power in Ottawa. And they have nothing to say about equalization. And they won't use the constitution to build pipeline. And I must say, to impose pipeline, because it's under federal jurisdiction. They have nothing to say about identity politics. On the contrary, they are playing that card just like the other party. They support the Paris Accord and carbon pricing. They support lockdowns and massive spending and deficit. And you know, there is very little substantive difference between them and the liberals. That's why I call them the Libcon Party. The Libcon Party. I said at the beginning of this speech that we are losing our basic rights and freedoms. What we offer is an ideological revolution at a rapid pace.